Welcome to the Branson Woodwind Shop. This video is going to be an introduction to the flugelhorn. The flugelhorn looks bigger than a trumpet, but it's actually the same amount of tubing as a trumpet. It's just the tapering of the tubing is different. On a B-flat trumpet, the lead pipe is tapered a little bit. Then the tubing is cylindrical. It does not expand at all from here all the way up to here. Then it starts expanding at the bell section. The flugelhorn is just a tiny little section of cylindrical tubing from here up to here. The rest of the tubing is tapered. It expands gradually, and then around here it starts expanding exponentially. Then there's a very large throat and a large bell. And if you hold it up right next to a trumpet, you can see the difference in size of the throat and also the bell. The way that the tubing expands and gets bigger is very important to the sound of a flugelhorn. It gives you a very dark and mellow sound. The difference in sound between a trumpet and a flugelhorn would be very similar to the difference in sound between a trombone and a euphonium. In a way, you can think of a flugelhorn as being kind of like a piccolo euphonium. It's about an octave higher than a euphonium. The length of the tubing and also the proportion of the taper on a flugelhorn is about half of that what it would be on a euphonium. On trumpet, if you try to play the pedal C, and that's an octave lower than the low C, it doesn't sound very good. However, on flugelhorn, the note comes right up. On flugelhorn, if you play down from the low C to the low F sharp, it sounds like this. And then there's a large gap, and then the pedal C. Some flugelhorns have four valves, and that allows you to fill the gap between that low F sharp and the pedal C. And if you have one of those flugelhorns, you have a huge range. The only manufacturers I know of that make those are Getson and Blessing. I'm not sure if Blessing still makes a four-valve model or not. If you know of any other manufacturers, just leave a comment. I do not own a four-valve flugelhorn, but here's a picture of one. Flugelhorns are commonly used in jazz music, usually the ballads and the slow pieces of music. Also, a lot of times they're used in gospel music and also studio music. Most manufacturers make a model of flugelhorn, uh, but the most common are Getson and Yamaha. And this one I have is a Getson. The cost of a flugelhorn is going to be about the same or possibly a little bit more than a trumpet of a similar quality and similar manufacturer. If you're a trumpet player, flugelhorns are not hard to play. Any trumpet player can just pick up a flugelhorn and start playing it just like a regular trumpet. The only difference will be that the sound coming out of the bell will be a lot darker and more mellow than it would be on a trumpet or a cornet. Another difference between the flugelhorn and trumpet is the tuning. On a flugelhorn, this is called a shank, and it acts just like a tuning slide. So you just put it to where it needs to be tuned, and then you tighten up the screw to make sure it doesn't move. Thank you for watching, and please feel free to subscribe for more band instrument repair videos.